and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you another recipe, specifically a crock pot recipe. Ever since I put up the crock pot chicken tacos, you guys have really been requesting more crock pot recipes and I totally understand why because they make life so much easier. So this one is delicious. Um, we are actually going to be making sausage and pepper soup. So I love sausage and peppers, it's like such a comfort meal. So while I love sausage and peppers, generally you just kind of slap it on like a big old roll and that's like not always what I want. So I wanted to make it at home but I was trying to figure out a different way to prepare it so that it's not always like a sandwich. So I thought why not, you know it's so comforting, why not just make it into a soup. So that's exactly what I did and that's how, what I'm going to be showing you guys today. It's really easy, just a little bit of prep work and then you just toss everything in the crock pot and that will do the rest for you. So it's really an easy recipe and it's so delicious and so comforting. Perfect since it's winter time and it is so cold outside this weekend, oh my god. So it's go just going to be a really nice, warm, comforting treat for Matt and I tonight. And I'm really happy to share this re recipe with you guys. So without further ado, let's head into my kitchen and I'll show you how to make the soup. So the very first step is to brown some sausage. I'm using hot Italian turkey sausage because I wanted a little spice and also turkey sausage has much less fat than pork sausage. So you're just going to go ahead and start browning them on each side and while they are cooking you're also going to slice up some peppers. So I decided to use both green and red peppers. It's totally up to you, you know, whatever your preference is, just go ahead and grab three of those and you're just going to slice them into strips and then once they're all sliced up go ahead and throw them into your crock pot. When the sausage is done I like to just throw them on a paper towel just to try and soak up any excess grease that I can. And then you're going to go ahead and move them to your cutting board so that you can slice these up as well. And you will just be slicing these into like little, what do you want to call those? Medallions? <laughs> I don't know. But just go ahead and slice those up and then just throw them into your crock pot. And we will get ready to add in all of our other ingredients and get this baby cooking. So the very first thing is just some marinara sauce. I like using this pizza sauce because it's kind of thick. Then chicken stock, you're going to be using about three cups of this. Spinach, about two packed cups of this. I just kind of threw a bunch of spinach in. And then lastly, some pasta. You can completely leave this out. You don't even need it. But if you do cook with pasta, throw it in for the last half hour if you're cooking on high and the last hour if you're cooking on low. And then once all of our ingredients are in the crock pot, just go ahead and give it a little stir just to try and mix it up as best you can. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and pop on your lid, lock it, and then go ahead and set it for either four hours on high or about six hours on low. And after it's all done cooking, it will look something like this. It's seriously so good and so hearty, just a really comforting, great winter meal. And it's so easy because you just throw everything in the crock pot. And once it has finished cooking, it is time to serve it up. I like to serve it alongside some nice hearty whole grain bread that I warmed up in the oven just to get it nice and warm and crusty. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up for more and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Find me where the water